Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and Merry Christmas. It This will be posted on Christmas, so I figured I'd throw that out there. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas or not, I uh, hope you have a great day. Uh, you don't have to celebrate the holiday itself to enjoy the day off if you happen to have it uh, due to whatever, um, uh, what I should say, whoever, any kind of federal holidays or anything like that that you uh, get off. So anyway, point being. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you're spending time with family, eating some good food, watching some good sports if you do that, and solving some good puzzles. So it's Christmas by Doc Logic. Let's get into this guy and see what's going on. So normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. We've got a German Whisper. That's our tree here. All of these guys will be German Whisper. So ditch along each green line, have a difference at least five to their neighbor. So you guy, this guy here, I can speak today, it's okay. Uh, this guy here is going to be five, at least five away from that guy, and then so on and so forth down these lines. Then we have a Renban. Now this is a brown line color for the uh, requirement of the trunk of the tree there. So normally it's like a pink or a purple, but anyway, did this on the brown line form a group of consecutive figures in any order. So these will be some set of digits that are consecutive. Then finally we have crop keys. So either we got a little bit of snow falling or we've got some ornaments and stuff like that going on or these lights could be any of those things. Whatever you enjoy, think of that. So cells linked with a white dot are consecutive. So these two will be consecutive. Cells linked with a black dot have ratio of one to two, such as these guys, or one of them will be double the other. Not all possible dots are given. So with all that said, again, wish the best to everybody on today. Let's get started. Links in the description below. All right, where are we starting? Well, I think we're gonna start up here. The first thing I saw, these are fives, sevens, and nines. We're gonna know that these guys are groupings of ones, two, four, eight, and three, six. Now, I think there's always an instance of one of these guys being like, what a three, six, is that not correct? Yeah, because if, whenever we have two um, sets of black crop keys uh, joined by a white crop key, you obviously can't put the one a one two and a four eight here because there's no way to connect them. So one of these is going to be the three six, and the th whatever one is the three is going to be over here. So let's put those in, and then we'll have either the four of the four eight or the two of the one two to go with it. So let's put those in. All right. Now then, <clears throat> that means this is either a 1, 2, or a 4, 8. We don't quite know which one is which yet. Let's try to find something else we can get onto now. Uh, do we go into our German Whisper, or do we look elsewhere? Let's actually just shove the 6 right here, because then we can actually look at this guy a little bit better. This is not 3, 6, so it's going to be from the 1, 2, 4, 8. This can't ever be a one. And does that tell us anything? Not necessarily. We might have to jump into thinking about the groupings of digits on these guys and things like fours and sixes when it comes to German whispers. I don't know if those are giving us anything at the moment, but Let's start with some coloring. What do you say? You know, lay down by the bay, and et cetera, et cetera. These are going to be one grouping. So we know all of, okay, that's probably going to be what we need. These are either all of the high digits or all of the low digits. If these were all low digits, what would you put in this crop key? Well, you couldn't do one, two, two, four, four, eight, or three, six. So these are the highs. So let's get those and put them colored properly. We'll put the festive coloring on this tree and let's put these guys in. Six, sevens, eights, and nines. One, two, threes, and fours. Good, what else we got? I guess we also know, yeah, we don't really. I was gonna say fives we could have looked at, but either of those could be fives. And yeah, we don't really have a restriction on fives down there either. So uh, what else, what else, what else? This is not a four. We can probably start re making reductions. 
you, neither of you two can be sixes. Why did I not put a low digit here? I don't know. I just missed it. So this is one, two, three, and four, which means this has to be a high digit. So it's six or eight, which means you are three or four. And I don't think we can say which one of those is which. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing. Because these guys can't be fours. So one of you two is, which means you are always a nine, which means you are an eight. That means you can't be a nine, which means you can't be the four. You are the four. That means you are also now a nine. Go away. Okay. Um, I guess we don't technically know what these guys can be at the moment. You can't be an eight, though. We can say that. What about you? Yeah, you can't be one, two, or four, eight. So you are three, six. Which means you are not the three. Which means you are. That does tell us now this is the eight. And you are the seven. You are the six. So we can put the ones in. And the two. You're not a two. We starting to get this guy down to something useful. You're not a four either, by the way. Which means you are the four. You are the two. You are either a three or a five. Don't quite know yet. Okay. Let's see. Anything else we got going now we can work with? Do we need to get over here and think about it? Or do we think about our Renban? Um, I guess there's certain things you could say about this, but none of it necessarily tells me anything right now. So maybe we need to look over here. Six, five, four, eight, seven, nine. Can this ever be an eight? <clears throat> That's the next question I think we want to answer. Because if that's an 8, you're either a 7 or a 9. Well, it can't be 8, 9, because you can't put an 8 here. Can't be 8, 7, because what do you put here? It had to be 6 or 8. Can't be 6 or 8. You're 6. You're 3. Now, you have to be 5 or 7. We already said you can't put a 7 here, so this is 5 which means you have to be four, which means you have to be two. Good. You're not a four. You're not the six, so you are, and you are the three, which means all of this stuff goes away. Now, can we work out the two or the four? This could be a four if this was an eight, and it could be a two if you were a one. So the answer to that is no. You have to be from 1, 2, or 4, 8 as well. You're not 2. You're not 1 or 4, so you can't be 8. And I guess that didn't really tell us much. I was hoping we get a little something there, but that's fine. We'll move on. We'll find something else to work with. Do we go into these guys? Because we're pretty limited across this row now. Um, yeah. We do. We just think about this guy in general. Where does a 2 go? Can't go on here, because you can't pair it with a 1 or a 3. Can't go here, because we already have a 2. You're the 2. Now we know this then has to be the 1, because it had to be 1, 2, and 4, 8. It can't be 2, 4. So this is the 8 and the 4. Let's go back to you, because we know these are from 7s, 8s, and 9s. One of them is going to be an 8, and it can't be you. So it's you. And now you can't be a 9, so you are the 7. You are a 9, you are an 8. Good. You have to be a 7, just as a given, which means you're not. And then you two are 3 and 5, which means you are a 5. Perfect. Let's go here first off with a 4. What are you two then? They are a 1-2 pair, and you are the 9. Don't quite know which way goes which. That's okay. We'll work with it. What about you guys? We need a one. It sure as heck can't go here. We also need a three that can't go here, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four. Yep, this is a one, three pair. You are the five, which means we definitely need sixes and sevens. So that's the seven. One of these is gonna be our six. 
No. Okay, we do know what it is because we have nine staring at all of this. This is eight, seven, six, five, four. So this is a four, six pair. Perfecto. Now we can almost, yeah, we absolutely can say what we do here because all of the high digits are taken. Your lows, not the, the store where you buy large box goods, but um, ones, twos, threes, and fours. You're not two or four. You're not one. You're not two or four or three. You're a one. That's the three and the one. You're not three. You can't also be a four, so you are two. Beautifimous. Let's go to you guys. You are from the six, sevens, eights, and nines. You're not eight or nine. You're not seven. You're not nine. You're not eight. You can't be six and you can't be six. You could be or you could be. Do you have any other restrictions going across? Yeah, you are the seven. Put you there. I guess we should color this guy in since we've colored the rest of the tree. Let's be festive. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna change this up. There we go. Much better. All right, what are you two? Three and four, I believe. Yep. That's the case. You are a one. And what else? We still can't say which one of these is which. I mean, any of these could be pretty much anything. So, um, do we go into U2? Fives and what is the other one? Three? Yeah, this is the five. This is the three, which gives us the four and the three. U2 have to be two and nine. So, you are the two, you are the nine. Fours, fives, sixes, and sevens. Where does the four go? It has to go here because of these guys. That means you are the six. What are you guys? Four, six, eight. You are the six. You are a four, eight pair, which means you're the eight. You're the four. That's going to tell us what you are, which is five. And can we figure out these last couple guys here? Yeah, you're three. And boo -ba -doo -ba -doo. You're not the six anymore. So what are you guys? Ones, sevens, and nines. You're not seven. And you're not a one. So you are. Okay. This is seven, eight, or nine. It's not seven. So this is the eight, nine pair. You are the seven, which means you are the six. Wait. Nope. I typoed there. You already had a seven here. What am I doing? Get rid of this stuff. Well, not you, but you guys. Didn't even see that guy. This is the nine. This is the eight. This becomes our six. Now let's go back and fill these in. This is the one. This is the six. Sevens and nines don't quite see there. Let's go over to here and here first is seven. What are you guys? Five and nine? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Five, nine. Okay. Now let's go back over to here. Sevens and five. So that's the seven. That's the five. That gives us our nine and our seven. These two are two and eight. Not helpful. You are five and nine. Helpful. What are you two? Sevens and eights? Yep. Eight, seven. That's going to give us the two and the eight. That three was sitting here. Gives us the six and the three. And let's think about you guys. We need a one and a four. One, four, two, one. This has to be a two. You have to be a six. And there we go. Congrats. You've solved the puzzle. It's Christmas. Ah, nice and simple. Like it. <laughs> that was kind of the thought. Just a nice, fun, little, simple Christmas Day type puzzle. Uh, whether you actually watch this on Christmas Day or you have much more important things to do than to watch me <laughs> post a video about a little puzzle uh but i really do hope everybody is having a very good day today you're spending time with those that you love or at least can uh speak with them and uh get to just enjoy the the time off if you do get it if you don't get time off here today i hope you're just still having a great day anyway doing what you got to do and uh so anyway like i said fun puzzle hope you all enjoyed it and uh have a great rest of your holiday day and season and we'll see you in the next one thanks a lot